Hey guys, what's up? Happy Halloween. I just wanted to do a little quick review on these knee pads. I got them on Timu. I did a quick search. Uh, dirt bike knee pads, motocross knee pads on the internet. And these came up because I do everything on a shoestring. I'm just getting back into riding dirt bike. I'm more of an enduro guy personally. I like getting out in the woods. And I wanted to get something that's going to protect me because I work for a living. And if I get hurt, then... How am I going to make money? So I ordered these for like, they're like, I want to say about 40 bucks. Um, and they just came today. So I'm looking at them. This is the package that they came in. You know, pause if you want to read any of that stuff. There's some questionable shit on that. I guess you're supposed to cross it, cross the clasp behind the legs. Uh, I tried them on real quick. They seem to be just fine if you go behind the leg. Um... But they feel good, man. They move good. I have yet to ride with them. It's hunting season right now, so I don't really want to be a dick and go. I mean, I could be a dick and go riding in the woods right now, but then that's going to make people mad, and they're going to kick me off their property and stuff. And that's not what I want. I want to be able to use people's property, and I want to attract the wrong kind of attention. But they feel good. They move good. Uh... I don't know if they're going to break the first time they take a hit. That That's a question I don't know yet. But I'm 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 going to be a little braver with these on my legs. Uh, they feel the padding soft. Looks like they use some good rivets in there. This is like a plastic. And I was looking. If you look. Some, somewhere on here. There was a uh, different. Yeah. Just some information. No, that's not what it was. I, I seen... I'm gonna look again. Something about the different fibers they use. But anyway, uh, the only thing about these knee pads that makes me nervous are the clasps or the buckle or whatever this is. Try to do a quick Google search not even knowing what the specific kind of buckle this is. Um, there was something on Amazon from Liet that Liet or Liet or whatever that would look similar, but I didn't buy it because I don't want to waste the money if I don't have to. It looked similar, so I, I, I'm not going to replace them now. It's just if they break. It would really, you know, be crappy if this broke from, t from you know, having tension on it or getting hit or hitting a, a log or something. And I couldn't use it, or I could only use one. So, I mean, I have some ideas about... Some of the classes I did see in a quick Google search I could do, but uh, this is the only thing I didn't like. Was this like this plastic to me? If you see it, just I feel like I could break it if I just really tried. You know, I don't know if you can see that or not, but well, it's hard to get it on camera. But I had it flexing it, but I hold it a certain way. I don't want to break it. I'm hoping it holds up well for forty bucks. I mean, I'm going to feel a little braver in these. So, that's my two cents. I'm not a pro. I'm just a, your average guy who wants to try and get back on two wheels and do my thing. Oh, also, I got these socks off team. Man. They look pretty nice. I don't know. I never wore. They seem kind of goofy going up that high, but pros wear them, I guess. <laughs> Alright guys, have a good Halloween, thanks.